Hey guys, Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here with Harvey Gann from What We Do in the Shadows. Hi. But also everything else. I keep seeing you in so many other projects. There's some some movie, I think, on Comedy Central coming up that you're yeah, in. Yeah, Comedy Central has a new movie coming out. It's called Curse Friends. It comes out actually October 8th. So you might want to watch that. It's super funny. It has Will Arnett as a producer. It has Nikki Glaser. It has Kathy Griffin. It's the cast is on and on and on. It's crazy. But you're you've been doing a lot of different things. You do a lot of voice work as well, right? Mm, yeah, I do. I just wrapped up the new uh, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, coming out December twenty second in uh, theaters everywhere with Salma Hayek and uh, Florence Pugh and Antonio Banderas and myself. So yeah, you know, keep them busy. Good company. Now, when you were when you were just kind of getting started in the business. Was this what you envisioned? Did you, is this, did you have a master plan or were you just kind of like, let's just see where things go? I just wanted to actually just work. I just wanted to actually do what I love. And someone gave me advice a long time ago and they said, would you be happy performing for a room full of 99 seaters, you know, a seat, or for millions of people? And would you give the same performance to both? And I think that was my goal was to give the same performance. So I would be happy if I could make a living off of it, but if I could do it every day. Okay. That was the goal. And I'm doing it. So. You're doing it. <laughs> And you're known mostly, I think, for comedy, but even when you see Guillermo, sometimes there's dramatic stuff that kind of creeps in and just some yeah. of this, you know, some of his feelings come out and stuff. But can you talk about just playing both sides of that in that show? Well, it's so nice to be able to play a character that has those layers, right? The human being in, in Guillermo and what we do in the shadows where we see ourselves in him. You know, he's out for a job, a uh, promotion that he doesn't get. He's maybe in love with someone from afar that doesn't have the guts to say it. And he's going after the ultimate goal, which is to be happy. And I think we can all relate to that. So it's really kind of sweet and tender and endearing to see all this roller coaster of his emotions. But also recently with him finally coming out mm -hmm. was a huge deal uh, for everyone who was watching the show and for people who they themselves might have been questioning if the time was right. It blows my mind that there's no ticking time bomb to like coming out when the time is right, the time is right. So it was through a comedy, we're actually like touching people's hearts and maybe changing their perception on, on this topic. Yeah, I always say we still need coming out stories because they're important for the people that haven't quite gotten there and need to see, see exactly see how that is. Yeah, it's very important. Safe, yeah. safe to hear your social media was blowing up with people responding to that? So many people, you know, you know, here we are at New York Comic Con and I had people come up to me just today who were saying, you know, I'm 38 and I finally came out to my parents and I was like, wow, and I was like, yeah, and it was tough, and but I did it because I saw Guillermo finally get the courage and be comfortable. And if he can do it, I can do it. And I was like, you know what? That's a great way of putting it. <laughs> Guillermo can yeah. do it. You can do it. Yeah. So it was really sweet. I love it. Um, so you're shooting season five right now. Yes. What? We're a quarter of the way done. We were shooting last night and we're doing night shoots. So I came straight from the night shoot, went to the airport and got here because I was like, I can't. I can't miss it. It's New York Comic Con. Everyone's gonna be, you know, there. So it was. It's fantastic. The, what the writers have done with this season, it's gonna blow your mind. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna grill you too hard for spoilers, mm -hmm. but each season, I feel like, has bumped up the game of the show every season. Yeah. What does What does five do? Just when you think that it's like, well, we've, you know kind of like hit it's like nope they got another layer going at it. and it's like wow you guys really know but that's just credit to the writers you know we have such amazing writers Sarah Naftales you know Paul Sims and Stephanie Robinson all of them are just so amazing and the whole team they the ideas that come out of their heads just blows my mind every time I read a script I'm like where did you you know what I'm not even gonna ask a question yeah. I'm just gonna do it <laughs> Harvey thank you so much for being here you guys what we do in the shadows is on TV now so watch it in season five will be coming soon all right thanks so much everybody